In this video, we're going to look at custom portfolios in Jupyter X. The best way to customize your portfolio section is with the post element, which is part of Raven Elements. An exclusive plugin developed by Artbees which represents new and useful elements to Elementor. It comes bundled with your theme and is accessed here on the plugin section of the Jupyter X control panel. For advanced styling options, you can use Elementor to edit your portfolio, but you need to make sure that you have enabled portfolios as a post type inside the Elementor settings. So let's start by looking at a single portfolio post. From the WordPress left menu, go to Portfolios and either click on Add New or edit an existing post by clicking on the title. Here you can see the title, categories, and featured image just to name a few options. If you want more advanced styling options, click Edit with Elementor. Once inside Elementor, you're able to edit all of the elements to the left of the sidebar and above the navigation here at the bottom. It's essentially just like editing a page. If you want to remove these elements, then you can click the hamburger and exit to Dashboard. And then you'll need to set the template in the Post Attributes drop-down to Full Width. Now click Update and then Edit again with Elementor. As you can see, all of the elements included in the default template have been removed. If you would like to control the global settings for the default template, which includes the featured image, social icons, related posts, and more, you can go to the Jupyter X Customizer from the WordPress dashboard. Under Jupyter X, Customize. Once inside the Customizer, choose Portfolio, Portfolio Single and you will see our original layout. Here you can decide to either hide or show any of these elements. For all the elements that you decide to show, you also have the option to stylize them by going to the Styles tab and clicking on Customize. For example, I'll change the height of the featured image to 200 pixels. If you would like to edit or remove the sidebar from your single portfolio posts, then click X, and go back to Sidebar. If you want to customize the look, go to Style and for example change the link color. However, for this site I think it would look best to be completely removed. So I just need to go back to Settings and change Layout to No Sidebar. Now that you've created a custom layout for your single portfolio pages, let's look at customizing your portfolio feed. To be able to use the flexibility of portfolio pages, you need to create and configure a custom page with the post element. Then simply call that page Portfolio or anything logical to let your users know where to go. For this site, the page I created is Works, as you can see here in the menu. And I have added the post element and gave it a beautiful design. I achieved this by setting the skin to Outer Content. Make sure you have the correct source here too. Then in settings, I chose grid, which keeps all the rows even. Masonry will fluctuate based on the image sizes. Then I included my featured image, title, categories, and excerpt. I added the categories to the top by turning on sortable with the all title and set pagination to load more. Under Style, I gave my containers a light gray border and then adjusted the colors and sizes of all the text elements. If you tinker with these settings, it's very easy to come up with a unique and dynamic layout. And once you're happy, update the page. You do have one more option for building a portfolio page, and that is by using the Jet Elements Portfolio widget. Jet Elements is also included as a bundled plugin and first needs to be activated in the Jupyter X control panel. Once you've activated Jet Elements, then search for the widget and drag and drop it into your layout. This widget provides you with the additional layout types justify and list, in addition to several preset layouts. However, you do have to manually add in the portfolio items and add the URL if you want it to link to the single post. In Styles, there are an abundance of options that will allow you to achieve your desired layout. 
The last thing to note is that users can access an alternate portfolio feed, which is called the archive page. For example, your category pages can be accessed by clicking the category on a post page, which will show the entirety of every post in that category. For more control over the portfolio archive pages, you can specify if you want sidebars on each category by going to Post, Categories, then choosing a category and defining its layout. You can have a layout with a sidebar or without a sidebar. If you set it to Global, the settings will be applied from the customizer settings that you defined for the global sidebar. That should about do it. Thank you for watching. Cheers! Thank you.